Is Street Fighter declining? Now, before everybody start complaining, like, oh my god, what is this kid talking about? I want y'all to really listen to what I'm saying. Street Fighter release every since June 2nd, 2023, have been one of the craziest moments ever. Not only introducing a new type of playstyle or just a form of gameplay inside the Street Fighter franchise, they have also announced a $2 million pot bonus for the Capcom Pro Tour. Now, what y'all hearing is y'all would be like, how is it declining? And somehow, some way, we have the same question. But into the first detail, first point that I would like to talk about is the updates. Now, mind you, we have experienced some type of minor update, some type of update as a whole especially when like new characters somebody come out like aki and or she came out they had like updates but i'm talking about the yearly big major updates we're only getting one update one major update throughout the entire series of this game so every year we only get one update that's it mind you there's a lot of things that actually need to get touched inside this game well, first of all let's talk about jp perry being active for like almost 100 frames blocker having eight-way mixes like his marvel aki can literally duck underneath job impact that don't even make sense there's a lot of things in this game that actually needs to get touched like it actually needs to get touched and there should be no reason why these things is even in the game still it should be no possible way and we also talk about the fireball dawson teleport mix up or the fact that honda headbutts all versions of his headbutts is negative four like i've been saying there's no reason why we should wait a year for a lot of these things to get touched these things actually need to get touched like right now another point to bring up is the mental stack inside this game now something i would like to point out is a tweet from ryan hunt which is one of the best you know tech players when i actually started getting into like fighting games you know I, I realize you know not really much people i'm not gonna go into detail but you know there's not really much people like me this tweet that i will be implementing on the screen we're gonna read this all down the list reasons why this not only this one year patch is just like not it the mental stack in this game is a little bit overboard and i'm gonna be explaining why but we're gonna go through some of these things first we have projectiles people could really ex fireball and then do something dumb and then say it's neutral which is stupid the jump is is crazy because the input system don't even let you even dp sometimes sometimes you get another move and you just get hit. Forward dashes sometimes you even try to implement something and you also get forward dash or get some other input. Raw drive rush automatically changes frames inside neutral. Yes, the frame data actually changed. No, you're not hitting meaty sometimes. It's just bare and neutral. Raw drive rush not only skips neutral and puts you across the screen better than a dash, you actually have a chance of blocking, hitting somebody with a move, and then plus you're able to change your frame data with that move with just a, a normal drive rush what in drive rush self-explanatory like i just explained it you press a button it changes frames because you are in drive rush drive impact is literally a button that sometimes come out but sometimes they do it's honestly a reward when somebody try to do it and you hit it back sometimes sometimes it just don't even work at all plus if you're holding down back sometimes drive impact won't even come out time remaining some people will literally have characters to where they could just put you across the map which is like understandable i mean y'all been doing that for like so long but like now it just seems very difficult to actually have time management in this game drive gauge monitoring is one of the craziest things because some people literally have strings to where they just deplete your entire drive gauge and there's no point of you even playing some characters literally just nuke your health example luke luke just press a button and i ain't gonna lie your health is gone opponent movement it's not like dragon ball to where like everybody basically have just the same amount of movement they able to float and have the same amount of you know utensils in terms of just moving around the screen everybody have different movements so you would have to adjust and know like this character movement is slower this like it's just that it don't make sense Sense. but that has been in every single street fighter so i can see why i'm not really complaining about that opponent utility uh sometimes this thing is just very unbalanced i ain't gonna lie uh jamie don't go into the next round with his drinks but manon do it's just like things like that it just don't make sense and also block a charm whatever like it automatically restores and then jerry like it's too much and let's not even talk about the fact that if you're close to burnout you will literally have to super in order to get out of some situations and one of the main points of problems that i have is literally perfect parry somebody could literally tap triangle and square medium punch and medium I'm kicking i promise you you will lose the game off of it and then let's go to one of the last points that i had because i don't want to make this video too long because i want to hear your honest comments down below can we talk about the fact that i even had a conversation to multiple players people in the community and out the community that in order to actually get better at this game you will really have to sacrifice a lot which is why i actually support the people that actually is a high level at this game very high level but you will literally have to sacrifice so much time so much studying so much into this game no matter what's going on some I mean, guys even though i'm a car player at heart i'm really a cop play i upload card i literally reduced card to actually get into street fighter and granted it did
did pay off i was getting good tournament placements to just start out but that's my point this game street fighter 6 is like it don't really matter how much time you put in you have to sacrifice more things than the average person would in order to actually compete inside this game and honestly unless there's a new character the steam stats i even throw it up on the screen is really not even getting better right now it is declining hopefully they have a change of heart and actually come out with this major update as soon as possible and then hopefully they also come out with street fighter league by the time this recording is even out because when i say this i really love street fighter and i hope it actually get better i catch you on the next one comment down below with your opinions on this i'm out and jerry